Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today, Tuesday, Bitcoin continues to go down as I'm watching the charts right now. We are at around $29,500. But today I'm going to talk about something I never discussed in this channel. And this is the three peaks and the dome house, which is a pattern that has been uh, coming up on Twitter. I already saw several traders discuss it because it's becoming very, very similar to what is happening in Bitcoin right now. So we will discuss it just in a few minutes after I share the screen and we go to the price to time model as usual to start the analysis of today. So uh, here we are with the price to time model on this one, not the previous one. And as I said yesterday and the previous videos, we have we have been delayed already regarding the price to time model. So we are continuing to go down. We are now below and delayed as compared to the yellow candle pattern, which represents the 2017 cycle, as you guys know. So. Uh, so far, we are still inside the square and we have still chances of going up to October, November to have a top. But right now, things don't look so good as before because we should be in between the 2017 cycle and the threshold of the rectangle. But we are still on time to achieve a new top. If that top is going to be the amount of dollars for Bitcoin that we've been discussing before, or not well that's not the main point of the price to time model the main point is when this top should be achieved so with one or two weeks probably uh, of error but i still think we can achieve it by october so let's see if not october at least november and that would be a honest mistake uh, I would consider it an honest mistake. So let's see how this goes for the price of time model. We continue to be delayed and I am close to say that the bottom is very near. I, I don't believe that we are going below the all-time high of 2017. We have now a gap of only $9,000 between the current price level and the price level of the all-time high of 2017. And I don't believe that we are going lower than that. If that happens, it's a very, very, very extraordinary situation for Bitcoin, which I have never seen before. So let's see how this goes. The RSI continues to go down, of course. So this is again, uh, this was looking like the 2013 cycle after the 75% correction mid cycle, but now after touching that level of the RSI of that correction of 75% from the 2013 cycle, now this is going below that level. So nothing to see here, move right along because the price of time model is a bit off track as compared to the previous cycle. Uh, so let's see what happens um, in the next few weeks if we start to go up or not, but I'm expecting to achieve a new low we have now achieved a new low, by the way. We have been lower than the big crash of four weeks ago. So we are now around 29,000 and continuing to go lower. I hope this is good for the market because we could see a reset on the leverage market and that would be very, very good for the spot market, of course, because usually it goes inverse. Uh, the more leverage we have, the more reasons we have to go down. And, uh, you know, when a lot of people are so, so greedy, that's what happens. A big reset happens and a big drop to eliminate the longs will happen too. So that's it. But let me discuss the new pattern that I've been hearing about uh, from several people already. I'm going to take you guys to here. And this is what I've been hearing about. The George Lindsay's idealized three peaks and the domed house. And this pattern is becoming very, very similar to what we've been seeing on Bitcoin. So you can, uh, according to this, ch to, to this complicated pattern, it's not an easy one. Uh, I have to admit, but 
in fact, we have been seeing some similarities between the three peaks, which is what we have been uh, having for the last months, uh, with the 64,000 and a half uh, all-time high, which occurred by the number five here on this pattern. Then we had another drop, then another high. So these are the three peaks. And then we had this big drop that we experienced uh, four to five weeks ago when we achieved for the first time after the all-time high the level of 30k um, so of course in dollars because uh, uh, sometimes people hear me doing my analysis and they think i'm talking euros i'm not talking euros i always make my analysis in dollars because the dollar is the world reserve currency for now but this will change in a few years um, so what we are experiencing right now on the bitcoin chart compared to this pattern is inside the green circle so after that big drop we have been accumulating as you guys can see here this is the uh, an accumulation period which could also be a bear trap and we are very very close in my opinion that i will show you on the pro indicators chart that we are achieving new support levels around 25,000, 26,000, and from there i believe that we will see a price reversal at least for the short term and probably some continuation but the, the, this chart pattern indicates that we might be possibly experiencing a bear trap which will lead to another exponential rise to the first floor of the house, then some more accumulation and a final, uh, a final uh, raise, um, rise, sorry, rise of the price action to new all-time highs. Uh, which will become the roof of the house, the domed house, as this pattern um, explains. I've been also investigating a bit more about this, uh, about this pattern, and I found that Bulkowski uh, also has a page about this, and in fact, he mentions this pattern in uh, the book Chart Patterns. Um, so you guys can see it here. I will. I will. Uh, I can tell you the the website is thepatternsite.com, and then slash threepeaksdome.html. So if you guys want to check the page, uh, the Bulkowski page on this pattern, you guys can ch can check it. And you also have here a table with all the numbers inscribed into the pattern and what those numbers mean so it has a bit of a description for each of those numbers and you guys can check it out on this page to see what exactly is going on on those numbers so those numbers just going back here to the same image i was showing you so the pattern is composed of 28 numbers and each of the numbers has a small description on that bulkowski page about this pattern now if you take this and take it to the charts I have prepared an example here, which I found in gold. Three peaks and domed house. Here it is. And we have to go to a certain date, which I have already prepared. And this happened in 2000, October 2010. So I will put the exact date so we don't have to search for it. Okay. And then go. And you guys will find it here. So I've prepared this already for you. So here is exactly what was exactly, not exactly as predicted. I'm kidding, guys. I'm not impersonating anyone right now. But this represents exactly what we've been uh, seeing on those drawings of the chart pattern called three peaks and the domed house. So here are the three peaks, then the big drop accumulation area then a new rise of the price action new accumulation which sometimes can be a bit higher than the three peaks or at the same level and then a final excess and exponential rise to the final top so this happened exactly as the ch uh, as the chart pattern indicates in gold in 2010 it started in uh, october 2010 and it went to may of 2011 and you guys can see it here and there are more examples you can find online on different assets of course of this pattern so if you think about this and then you look at the bitcoin chart and the bitcoin chart is here 
but we can extend this a bit so that you guys see it here you actually have already the three peaks one two three so the last three peaks here then the big drop and after the big drop the accumulation area so this uh, i'm going to zoom in so you guys can see it better so what i mean is that we could be experiencing i'm not saying that this is what is happening this chart pattern but these are the three peaks one two three and this is the accumulation area that corresponds to the green circle of that image that you guys saw before so if this actually is the chart pattern that we are experiencing right now in bitcoin what this could mean is that from the next levels of support we could see a new rise to a new accumulation area probably around the previous all-time high and then a continuation to the final excess of the final top which could occur in the next few months so this is a very interesting chart pattern that uh, I've, I've been hearing about on Twitter and I've already watched one or two different traders also mention it on those uh, on their videos on their YouTube channels and I wanted of course you guys to have a look also so this is a bit of a different show today because I'm showing a new pattern that I never showed before but I think it's really interesting that you guys have a different uh, opinion or a different uh, pattern to analyze or to compare to what's happening right now in Bitcoin and of course that uh, enriches you your knowledge and your informed opinion on what to do in the market of course now we are going to check the pro indicators chart and I will tell you guys um, it's here I will tell you guys that we are now reaching the support levels I've been discussing I started to discuss this previously on the live stream on Saturday then I said the same thing on Saturday night when I went to uh, hard for cafe for a live analysis in Portuguese and then this is what I said I said that I'm expecting Bitcoin to find new support levels around the 25 uh, to 28,000 area we are now reaching those levels as you guys can see the indicator of the the pro indicators context channel is now support around those areas from 29 but it goes down to 25 and 700 so this is the area that i expect to become the next support i would probably even accept if we go to 24,000 as a final access to the downside and then a quick reactivation of the price action to the upside so let's see how this goes i am just telling you guys the support levels that the indicator is uh, telling me and my interpretation of what could be a new char uh, chart pattern so um, this is what I had for you guys today I don't want to analyze anything else I just want to leave you guys with this idea you can research you can read the Bulkowski page about this chart pattern you can also find different pages talking about this pattern this is a very very old uh, publication by the way this was published in 1971 if I'm not mistaken by its creator or the guy that found about this pattern and you guys can research by yourselves and take your own informed decisions about what to do I'm just saying that we are very very close to find support on the context uh, channel so the support context which is the gray bar down here is already at the same level as the price action currently so we are now around 29 400 but if we continue to go down this could be the final excess and support for reactivation of the price action of course no one knows the future but the probabilities are that we will see a price reversal here at the support context and then reactivation to the upside if that reactivation will take us to this chart pattern or not we will have to see but for now it's another thing you should consider and keep in your mind so guys today I want to make a shorter video I don't want to uh, bother you so much with a long long analysis so this is what I had for you guys today let me just stop screen share and of course as usual we will finalize with the words the wise words of Sarge Esterhaus about the markets all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there 
that's exactly it guys if you enjoy this content please gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to subscribe but also gently touch the notification bell and select all for the notification so that you are updated when I upload a video. So let's roll and be really careful out there in the markets. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye bye.